Welcome back. I'm Paul Allen. It is a treat weekly calling football games on KFAN with Pete Bursich, analyst for the Vikings Radio Network, former player and coach, because when he watches film, he unveils things we don't see. Let's do that now with the Atlanta Falcons. The Minnesota Vikings get set to take on the Atlanta Falcons this weekend. Atlanta, a winless franchise, had some issues. They fired their head coach. They fired their GM. A lot of changes for this squad coming up north to face the purple. Let's take a look, though, at their offense and see what has worked and what hasn't worked for this Falcon team. For folks that know anything about Atlanta, the two guys that everyone knows about, one is Matt Ryan. He's one of the franchise guys. The other, the other one is Julio Jones, who's been injured and been off the field. They got Todd Gurley, one-year contract. Todd's trying to, Gurley's trying to get himself some money, but this is what's working well. Gurley's been able to give them a lot of juice in the running game, using them in different ways. Simple blocking scheme right here. You're turning out with these two on the guard and the tackle. You have the tight end coming back inside. They get Gurley up to the second level, and this is where a great running back is a great running back. He's able, they have a safety who has the angle on him, but he's able to, Hit that extra gear, miss the ankle tackle, and get it to the end zone. So you have to know where Todd Gurley is at all time. The guy, he can, he can change games. He's that good. He still has a lot of juice left. Simple blocking scheme up front, right? One-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. They gets to the line of scrimmage. Carolina has him pretty much hemmed up, all right? This, this is a Dalvin Cook-type play. Todd Gurley, good enough to set his feet, beat that corner. Now, granted, that's only a four- or five-yard play, but this guy... <laughs> Loses contain, gets stiff-armed, and look at him. Bam. He's running into people on the sidelines. I mean, seriously, that's, <laughs> that's when you know a running back got to you. I mean, Gurley can walk back after that play and say, yeah, I took care of my guy. All right. A lot of good athletes up front. They have a number of first-round draft picks all across this offensive line, so they have plenty of talent. These guys can move, get the cut on the backside, push everything front side, and Gurley with the cutback. Again, to that second level, he has this two-way go on the safety. Now, he knows what's amazing, the vision. He knows that he has a defender here, but this way, you have a receiver blocking on the safety in the corner. He knows which way to go, sets him up, beats the arm tackle, stiff arms the safety, beats another couple guys having a hard time bringing him down. So Todd Gurley is absolutely providing some juice to an offense that's in dire need of it. Now, Matt Ryan, he's been the quarterback He's been the guy. He's in his mid to late 30s now. He was hit last year more than any other quarterback, and I think it's starting to show. When he has, a, when he has time and has protection, right here, he has that pocket. No one's around him. He has good presence here. This is a basic cover two beater. You have a low threat and a high threat. He's just reading this, he's just reading this corner who, at five yards, you know, he thinks he can get himself in there. But Matt Ryan, again, with the arm strength that he has, able to accurately get it in there right between the safety and the corner. That's classic cover two, classic cover two beater. Matt Ryan definitely still has the arm strength to do it despite his age. Play action. How many times have we seen this already? There it is. There's the huge pocket. You've got your receiver one-on-one, -on -one, gets the corner turned around, ball's delivered, easy 24 yards. I mean, Matt Ryan can still do that. So what's going wrong? Matt was hit last year more than any other quarterback in the league. And now when you start getting things like this where you're asking the tight end to come all the way back across the formation and take on a linebacker who ends up beating him to the point, hit, balls fumbled. Now Atlanta ends up falling back on this football, but still in his, in his mind right here, that's the thing that we got to get to. In his mind, he's saying, here we go again, sack, force, fumble, ball knocked out of his hand, doesn't like that. You're hitting the quarterback, you're putting money in the bank. Again, another blitz. He's free. Matt Ryan doesn't even get hit. You see he's got a guy right in his face, but he has this tight end wide open into the end zone, and he just overthrows it. So this is, a, this is a red zone opportunity. They got the blitz. They got the guy open. Matt Ryan just over the tip of the tight end, right? Game of inches, what we say. Another example, another guy blitzing off the edge. So this is the same kind of play that we saw a couple plays ago where the ball was knocked loose, forced fumble. Free rusher, that goes right there into his head. He sees it. He knows it. He knows this guy's coming. Throws one of the worst picks that you'll see this guy ever throw. One-on-one. -on -one. This is to tie the game. This is the drive to make this a 20-20 football game. And he delivers one of those to turn the ball over. That's the kind of thing that's been killing this team. 
So it's getting physical with Matt Ryan, trying to get guys in his face. Those, those are the things. Now, you also have to be physical with their front and find a way to stop Todd Gurley. A team that's had this many changes, a head coach, a GM, they're going to want to come in here and run the football. They're going to want to limit possessions. Everybody's going to perk up because they're going to wonder who's getting fired next. I think we're going to see a pretty determined Atlanta Falcon team run the football with Gurley and Matt Ryan with the play fake, but we got to get physical with both of them.